Selena Marie Gomez is an American singer, actress, and producer. She has been regarded as a triple threat by media outlets. Gomez began her acting career on the children's television series Barney and Friends 2002-2004. In her teenage years, she rose to prominence for her lead role as Alex Russo in the Disney Channel television series Wizards of Waverly Place, 2007-2012. Alongside her television career, Gomez appeared in the film's Another Cinderella Story, 2008. Princess Protection Program, 2009. Wizards of Waverly Place. The Movie, 2009. Ramona and Beezus, 2010. Monte Carlo, 2011. Spring Breakers, 2012. Getaway, 2013. The Fundamentals of Caring, 2016. The Dead Don't Die, 2019, and A Rainy Day in New York, 2019. She voiced the character Mavis in the Hotel Transylvania film franchise, 2012-2022. Gomez executive produced the Netflix television series 13 Reasons Why, 2017-2020, and Living Undocumented 2019, through her production company, July Moonhead Productions. She also executive produces and stars in the HBO Max cooking series Selena Plus Chef, 2020 Present, and the Hulu mystery comedy series Only Murders in the Building, 2021 Present. The latter earned Gomez critical praise, and a nomination for Best Actress in a Comedy Series at the Critics' Choice Television Awards. Gomez released three albums with her former band, Selena Gomez and The Scene, all of which reached the top 10 of the U.S. Billboard 200 and were certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, Kiss and Tell, 2009. A Year Without Rain, 2010, and When the Sun Goes Down, 2011. Additionally, Gomez's three solo studio albums, Stars Dance, 2013. Revival, 2015, and Rare, 2020, each debuted atop the Billboard 200. She also released the Spanish-language EP Revelación, 2021, for which she received a nomination for the Grammy Award for Best Latin Pop Album. A number of Gomez's singles have charted inside the top 10 of the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, including, Come and Get It, The Heart Wants What It Wants, Good For You, Same Old Love, Hands To Myself, We Don't Talk Anymore, It Ain't Me, and her first number one song, Lose You To Love Me. Many of her songs are recognized by their characteristic, hushed vocal stylings. As of 2017, Gomez has sold over 7 million albums and 22 million singles worldwide, according to Billboard. She has received various accolades and was named Billboard's Woman of the Year in 2017. Time magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2020. She has a large following on social media and is the most followed musician and actress on Instagram. Gomez's other ventures include makeup, clothing, handbag and fragrance lines. She has worked with many charitable organizations and served as a UNICEF ambassador since age 17. 2002-2006. Career beginnings Gomez first gained an interest in pursuing a career in entertainment watching her mother prepare for stage productions. She began auditioning for various roles and met Demi Lovato during an audition for Barney and Friends. Both Gomez and Lovato were later selected to appear on the series in 2002, with Gomez portraying the character Gianna. The show was her first acting gig. Gomez recalled of the experience, I was very shy when I was little. Dot dot closing square bracket. I didn't know what, camera right, was. I didn't know what blocking was. I learned everything from Barney. Gomez appeared in 13 episodes of the show between 2002 and 2004. The show's producers released her as she was, too old, for the series. While working on Barney and Friends, Gomez had a cameo role in the film Spy Kids 3D, Game Over 2003, and the made-for-television film Walker, Texas Ranger, Trial by Fire, 2005. She guest starred in a 2006 episode of the Disney Channel series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. 2007-2012.
Breakthrough with Disney and Selena Gomez and the scene Gomez was given a recurring role on the Disney Channel series Hannah Montana in 2007 as pop star Michaela. During this time, Gomez filmed pilot episodes for two potential Disney Channel series. The first was a Sweet Life spin-off titled Arwen, and the second was a Lizzie McGuire spin-off titled Stevie Sanchez. She later auditioned for a role in the network's series Wizards of Waverly Place, ultimately winning the lead role of Alex Russo. Gomez and her mother subsequently moved to Los Angeles, Lovato and her family also moved to Los Angeles, hoping to achieve similar success to Gomez. Wizards of Waverly Place saw Gomez playing a teenage girl in a family of wizards who own a restaurant in New York City. The series quickly became a success for the Disney Channel and represented Gomez's breakthrough into the mainstream. The series received numerous awards and nominations. Gomez recorded the theme song for the series, titled, Everything is Not What It Seems. She later appeared in the music video for the Jonas Brothers song, Burnin' Up, 2008. While working on the second season of Wizards of Waverly Place, Gomez appeared on the Disney Channel special Studio DC, almost live alongside other Disney stars. She contributed a cover of the song, Cruella de Vil, to the compilation album Disneymania 6 and later recorded the original song, Fly to Your Heart, for the soundtrack of the animated film Tinker Bell. She had a leading role as an aspiring dancer Mary Santiago in the direct-to-video film Another Cinderella Story, a sequel to A Cinderella Story, 2004, starring Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray and the second installment of the A Cinderella Story series. Gomez recorded three songs for the soundtrack and released one with her band Selena Gomez and the scene, Tell Me Something I Don't Know, as a promotional single, Citation Needed. Later that year, Gomez voiced Helga in the animated film Horton Hears a Who. The film was a commercial success, grossing nearly $300 million worldwide. At age 16, Gomez signed a record deal with Hollywood Records, which had already signed both Cyrus and Lovato. Gomez formed her own production company in 2008, which she called July Moon Productions. She partnered with XYZ Films for the project, allowing Gomez to option articles, hire writers and create talent packages to shop to studios. Gomez was slated to release two films under the company. The first, titled What Boys Want, would feature Gomez as a girl who could hear the thoughts of men. She later announced a film adaptation of the novel 13 Reasons Why, in which she was to play a young girl who commits suicide. Ultimately, neither film was made, but Gomez would later executive produce a television adaptation of 13 Reasons Why. 2012-2014, Stars Dance and Films. Gomez confirmed in January 2012 that she would be taking a break from music, placing Selena Gomez and the scene on hiatus. That year, Wizards of Waverly Place officially ended its run on the Disney Channel after four seasons. Gomez later was cast in the animated film Hotel Transylvania, 2012, replacing Miley Cyrus. The film premiered at the 37th annual Toronto International Film Festival and was released on September 28, 2012. Gomez had a role in the controversial exploitation film Spring Breakers, 2013, starring James Franco. The film saw Gomez playing a more mature character than she did previously and reportedly led to her having a bit of a meltdown on set. In 2013, she starred in the film Getaway. The film was a critical and commercial failure and earned Gomez a nomination for Worst Actress at the 34th Golden Raspberry Awards. Despite earlier claims that she would be taking a break from music, Gomez confirmed in October 2012 that she was working on new material. She later announced her solo debut album, Gomez Released, Come and Get It, as the lead single, and the song became Gomez's first top 10 entry on the Billboard Hot 100. The second single from the album, Slow Down, peaked at number 27 on the Billboard charts. Stars Dance was released on July 23, 2013. It became her first album to debut at number 1 on the US Billboard 200 chart, selling 97,000 copies in its first week. It remained in the top 10 in its second week but fell off the chart in the weeks following. 
The record received mixed reviews from music critics, with some noticing her inability to create her own musical identity and panning her vocal abilities. Gomez incorporated choreographed dance routines into the album's music videos and her promotional live performances, having been inspired by artists such as Janet Jackson and Britney Spears. As of September 2015, the album has sold 392,000 copies in the U.S., making it her lowest-selling studio album to date in the country. It remains her only studio effort to not receive a certification from the RIAA. 2015-2016, Revival. While working on her second studio album, Gomez collaborated with Zed on, I Want You to Know, released as the lead single from his second album on February 23, 2015. The single became Gomez's fourth top 20 entry on the Billboard Hot 100 and was certified platinum by the RIAA. Gomez released, Good For You, featuring rapper ASAP Rocky as the lead single from her second studio album on June 22, 2015. The song sold 179,000 copies in its first week of release and became her first top five single on the Billboard Hot 100 and her first single to top the mainstream top 40 chart. In August 2015, Gomez appeared in the documentary Unity. She reprised the voice role of Mavis in Hotel Transylvania 2, which was released on September 25. The film was met with a positive critical reception and commercial success upon release. 2017-2019, Standalone Releases and 13 Reasons Why. On February 4, 2017, she posted a snippet of a new song on her Instagram stories. Five days later, Norwegian DJ Kaigo posted a snippet of his collaboration with Gomez. Gomez and Kaigo confirmed the single titled, It Ain't Me, on social media one week later, which was released on February 16. The song reached the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Gomez served as executive producer for the series adaptation of the novel 13 Reasons Why. She shared the first trailer of the show on January 25, 2017, and the show premiered on Netflix on March 31, 2017. The series drew backlash from various mental health charities and suicide prevention communities over dangerous content, with some people feeling the show glamorized suicide. Gomez addressed the controversy, saying that, we stayed very true to the book and that's initially what author. J. Asher created was a beautifully tragic, complicated yet suspenseful story and I think that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to do it justice and, yeah, the backlash is gonna come no matter what. It's not an easy subject to talk about, but I'm very fortunate with how it's doing. Aside from the project, Gomez has been working on new music with producers The Futuristics, Jonas Yeberg, and Ryan Tedder and songwriters Julia Michaels, Justin Tranter and Jacob Kasher. 2020 Present. Rare, Revelacion and Only Murders in the Building on October 23, 2019, Gomez released, Lose You to Love Me, as the lead single from her third studio album Rare. The next day, she surprise released the album's second single, Look at Her Now. Lose You to Love Me, became Gomez's first number one single in the U.S., skyrocketing from number 15 to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 on the issue dated November 9, 2019. Rare was released on January 10, 2020, to positive critical response and debuted atop the Billboard 200, becoming her third consecutive number one album. Later that month, she voiced a giraffe in the adventure film Doolittle, directed by Stephen Gagan. In May, it was announced Gomez would host and executive produce the HBO Max cooking show Selena Plus Chef, which features Gomez joined by a different chef each episode remotely due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Each episode highlights a food-related charity. The show premiered on August 13, 2020. In June, Gomez was featured in a remix of Trevor Daniels' song, Past Life. In August, Gomez collaborated with South Korean girl group Blackpink for Ice Cream, the second single from Blackpink's debut Korean-language studio album, The Album. Later that month, it was announced that Gomez would star in and executive produce the comedy series Only Murders in the Building alongside Steve Martin and Martin Short, 
her first scripted television role since Wizards of Waverly Place. In August 2021, ahead of the official premiere of the series on Hulu, Gomez revealed that she was happy to have played a character that matched her current actual age, saying that she signed her life away to the Walt Disney Company at the start of her career and that she did not know what she was doing. In September 2020, she was included on the Time 100, Time's list of the most influential people in the world. In November 2020, Gomez was announced as executive producer and star of the Elgin James directed biographical film In the Shadow of the Mountain, based on the memoir of Sylvia Vasquez Lovato, the first openly gay woman to complete the Seven Summits. In January 2021, Gomez released the singles, De Una Vez, and Baila Conmigo, from her Spanish language EP, Revelación, which was released on March 12th. Selfish Love, with DJ Snake was released as the third single on March 4th. Gomez collaborated with Colombian singer Camilo in a song titled, 999, which was released on August 27, 2021.